as you all know, we are huge scuba divers. It's a big passion of ours. And when we lived in Asia, we dove all the time. Well, since we are headed to the South Pacific and to some really remote anchorages, and tank fills are very hard to come by, and if you can find them, they're really expensive. So, we decided to invest in a dive compressor for our boat. And we found a dive compressor that is reliable, that's half the price of the ones that are out on the market, and that runs off of our inverter and batteries with some adjustments that we had to make. So in this video, we're gonna show you all the adjustments we made, how we got it set up, and you'll see it was a huge challenge, but, in that challenge, we're really excited because when we get to French Polynesia, it will be all worth the effort, the time, the sweat, the tears that we put into getting this compressor up and running. So. Hey guys, here we are at Shelter Bay Marina and we're tweaking a few things on our dive compressor, which uh, our friends on Isla, they picked uh, this dive compressor up for us in Curacao. It's a German make and it can be modified many different ways. It happened to come with a 220 motor because it's German and that didn't work with our 110 volt system on our boat. So what we did was we sold the motor and in Panama, now that we're still in 110 land, we are picking up a 110 two horsepower motor that does 1750 horsepower all that's really important we're using a soft starter what i'm trying to say is there's some really good information in this video to figure out the mystery of making your batteries and your solar work for your dive compressor uh, we're gonna hopefully live in french polynesia for two years we want to do a lot of diving and we don't want to use a gasoline motor if we can use the sun instead and have an unlimited supply but we really worked on this to figure out the mystery there's lots of parts to this literally no pun intended and right now eileen is working diligently she gets yes. a little bit of this engineering stuff from her papa yes and she is uh man she is really uh earning her keep here on blown away actually i'm the one that's on double secret probation all the time oh uh, what's that you got in your hand sweetie well, I'm doing two things this morning. One is we went to Balisa here in Panama City yes. and picked up some hydraulic hose, which is 15 feet long so that we can just extend it over to our tanks as they're sitting in their compartments over there. So I am right now tightening the fittings on this. It was a little bit complicated for us to just change out the motor. The reason is that our 110 motor has a shaft size of 16 millimeter and our 220 motor had a shaft size of 24 millimeter. What kind of gear puller do you call this? It's called a harmonic balance. Harmonic balance. Puller. Yeah, to, to pull harmonic balancers, which is what, between an engine and a transmission? All right, exactly. So what we've done, this is the pulley, and this is 24 millimeter, we need 16 millimeter. So we have, I've taken out the bushing, and we just purchased a replacement for this that fits right in here. And it's gonna have a 16 mil opening so that it will fit the new shaft size. What we're doing is we're exchanging, switching out the parts on this to do what we need for it to do on our system. We needed to buy a soft start and we're going to install the soft start. Yeah, that's right. Today right. here in the compartment. I'm gonna here. do a fiberglass bar bond right there and when we get the motor then we need to connect the soft start here we've got power coming from the rear cabinet that's already been installed yeah. so once this gets installed uh, once we get the motor then we can test out to see if it works so we're super close now it's taken a long time thank you Jurgen, for finding the store central yeah. industrial 
that sells these motors, that was not easy to find. But we now have the motor on hold, we've got the lock bushing on its way, and just a few more connections and we should be good to go, hopefully, in time for our trip across the Pacific and ready to dive in French Polynesia. Guys, we did not have any videos helping us on this. There is nothing on the internet. We are gonna go step by step through this. This is just a little intro. It's a jumbled piece of parts right now. We're gonna put it all together for you. One other thing, we yeah. bought some uh, spare filters. I think each one of those filters has a, a tank fill of, I wanna say 130, 140 tanks. So we're good to go for French Polynesia. But we've also picked up a couple of extra parts for the maintenance of our compressors and some tools. We've got a funnel, we've got um, parts for the motor. And we're gonna show you how to operate this thing at the same time once we get it hooked up. Guys, seriously, if you appreciate great content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? I'm waiting. That shows us some love. We really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, about 50% of our viewers haven't subscribed that watch stuff. It really helps us out, guys. So go ahead and pause it right now and hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And I'll be here right when you get back. Okay, you're back. Also like this and make sure you leave comments, share this because you know you've got lots of people that need this information. So or that will find this interesting. We appreciate you guys. If you have not joined our Patreon group, we really encourage you to do that. All you have to do is hit the link down in the description. Eileen takes the time to edit, spend, I mean, she spends multiple hours on each video to multiple. help you guys. 30. Multiple, 30 hours, seriously. So we would really appreciate that. This is a 60 microfarad capacitor. One is to start it, one is to keep it going, right? right. Yeah. How the, do you know which one is which? The start capacitor will have higher. a lot larger of the capacitance. Right. Okay. Um, this right. soft start, I think, is more based on, it has a microprocessor and it limits the amount of current that can okay. come in. Okay. Okay. We got four wires coming off of here. Uh -huh. These T5, T8, T2, so it'll tell you which ones you need to connect together to give a certain rotation or We want low would... voltage, so we want T5, T5 T1, and T3. Line one will connect to hot, AC line one, along with a hot on this as well. Yeah, the whole boat blows okay, up. we cannot be responsible for any problems. No, no, that's right. Oh. That's why we don't accept monetary payment. <laughs> we cannot be responsible. <laughs> Yeah, you can't get mad at anyone who's doing their work for free. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Black is hot. Green, Green is the ground. Green is ground. Green is ground. And white is... white is neutral. So this now up. goes in here, right? Yep. And one of the other ones goes yeah. in here. Go right here. Run, run capacitor. capacitor, the start winding side. And then this one comes off. And then this one connects to here. Wow. <laughs> and then this, this goes to, to L1. L1, which goes to this L1. We have determined that this is the run, run yeah. capacitor. This is the start, and this is like eight. Yes, I got eight. Okay, sounds good. We were a little bit unsure of. Is the start winding side of the run capacitor? Because if, if you flip them, then that, that makes sense, right? So we, are you we're running like, all this? MD and he's okay. the doctor. Yeah, the doctor. exactly. Let MD. <laughs> That brown thing coming out there. This you can one. Just touch on the yeah, right, right there. there. Touch that. That thing. Yep. Yeah. Um. Also, I'm doing a little. He flipped it on. Is it yeah. still on? Flip it off. Yeah. No, no. He turned it off. Oh, he did. Wait. What did? What did you do, Brad? Time out. <laughs> no, time out. It's off. It's off. Okay. You turn it on and turn I it did. off. I did. I. I. This was. I yeah. like to play with orange buttons. You I mean, it, wait, you, know, you probably know. I mean, so, it's, no, it's, it's a weakness of mine. We just want to confirm what you did. You All right, I just didn't know it was off by itself. I didn't know. I understood that. So this is good. Wait, turn it on. We're ready now. Perfect. That sounded like a great startup. It's so quiet. All right, now turn it off. Wait, I want to look at the, the lights on the easy start. It'll tell us what's going on. Don't turn on yet. Let me look at the troubleshoot. Hands up here. Let me look at You're worse on a child. Hold on. 
Taylor, oh, wow, Taylor should be the one out. flipping the switch, not you. Someone could have had their hand on that. <laughs> Taylor, did you hear that? Like, you have to watch. Oh, There's an orange button he wanted sure to touch. It. Hey. Oh, that sounds better. Gabby, I see three red lights. Ready? Yeah. Okay, ready, set, on. No lights. No lights. Run! Run! Oh, wait, keep running. Keep no, running. Now Don't they stop. are. I can't see her. They're all on. All of them are on. All three are on, and they're they not blinking. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, he's got the whiteboard today. Oh, he's got the whiteboard. The one labeled T5 here is going to be the one connected to T8. Okay. And then this one is the black one labeled T5, <clears throat> which is very confusing because it's definitely connected to T8. T8 needs to get driven by its needs to get connected to neutral by itself. This is two and four gets driven by the brown wire. All of the current for the motor goes through the easy start. T5, just like we had yesterday, T5 and these other two all get tied into line one. Wait, do we think that L1? Oh yeah, I understand. <laughs> I was laughing at that. You can't, you can't, double can't draw a white wire. Okay, yeah, yeah. Orange and blue and, two, and then black to the motor. Like black to the okay, that's what we had. Yep, cool. that, that's what we yeah. had. The, the only thing left, I think, is to see if we can like pack in a 30 amp breaker. We thought we had a 30 amp breaker, but it was only 22 amps, so it kept tripping. Ready? I'm showing three amps, is it? Oh, it's not doing anything. Oh, wait. Oh, that, that sounds soft start. Uh, I'm seeing one single light. Wait a minute. Could that be the root of our issue? Are you saying this might be the start? Yeah, no, I, yeah that's what I was oh, saying. Oh, yeah. Wait, should we confirm that? Yes, you should definitely confirm that. Yeah, that's not consistent with what this shows. It's in the other order here. Let's see if that, let's see if that works. Joshua, Ian, and Gabby worked all day trying to correctly wire the motor to the soft start. It was amazing to watch them work so intently. I'm gonna oh. hang this on here real quick. I think we're ready here. What? Unexpected currents would be number 20. That's because we were shorting and not going through the start winding, I, I would be willing to bet. Okay, ready? Yep. I hear it. Three amps. I hear something buzzing. A single red light in the middle. And only four amps, nice. And it's spinning. Over currents would be single. Red middle. light. It's only four amps. It's, it's really. Is that too little? No, oh, I think it's great. That's oh! Right. Uh oh, same. And it's the middle one again. We should probably put it back together with a little lock tape, though. It's a great lesson. There you go. Hey, that's a centrifugal switch. Yeah. Oh, so cool that kids. is the big winding. Well, we can see the centrifugal switch now. So the centrifugal switch, I would say, is exactly where we wondered it or thinking it was. So there's T8. It goes to the start winding. So the varnish. kind of amazing yeah, varnish. The varnish could melt off. You know? No, it doesn't. Well, that's why one reason sometimes you'll see them like they'll dip the whole winding in varnish sometimes to keep it like if it's a really high vibration environment. But in general, no, it's incredibly hard stuff. These round wires are kind of obnoxious because there's like space in between them and the denser you can get the copper, the more efficiency you can get out of it. You can take this varnished wire and put it under an arbor press and smash it just like almost flat and it'll still have the perfect varnish. insulation. Yeah, wow. the varnish is incredible stuff. And what's the temp rating on it? It, that varies. You pay more for more. I think our next move is that is to get your easy start. Was it actually rated for more, or did no, it just have it's a bigger not. number? No, it just has Bluetooth on it. Easy start. Ready? Yep. Set. On. There's the three amps we saw before and a green light. Okay. Uh, uh, all. All right. Ready? Set. Oh, okay. I just, it. There's the three amps, all green lights. green lights. Everything's good. Okay. Forty. I saw 43 amps, and then it was, and then it was sort of steady state at like 25. Better. It's got red flashing light. Recurrent fault. 25, 26. Red, red lights. I'm gonna give it a little. Okay. 30, I saw 37 on here. What does it say? It's peak. 52. Ooh, all right, we should maybe just unplug it now. Ready, set, on. We're not seeing the four amps because I'm only on the brown wire. We got the 4, 40 amps. We got the blanks. Ready, set, and 
to go. That's interesting. I think that. I, you think this I isn't think, big enough still? I do. Oh, yeah, it's got real power. Are we cranking it up? Was it turning still it up? green? No, it. Uh, the current? Yeah. No, but the current was getting more in phase with the voltage, I'm sure. That answered the question. I think I think that confirms what we already knew. With Joshua's confirmation, we gave up on the soft start and wired the motor directly to the inverter. It can't be more forward. I am your dive compressor. He is the dive compressor. Let's lock this thing down. I think this is going to fit kind of like almost uh, yeah. too perfect, so we're going to have to kind of like go so in let, me just, let me just, let's lift it. I just want to see the weight. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh no, the Admiral's not going to be able to lock me in here anymore. It's going to be the compressor. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh man, it's a good thing you didn't connect those wires. Wow. Beforehand. Wow, that was it. Look at that. Perfect fit. I cannot believe yeah. well done. What's nice about this is if you wanted to take this to land. Oh, you could plug it in. Yeah, just plug it into the wall and then you're just filling tanks. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how much you want me to cut off. So we just need to splice this one in. Okay. okay. We're just gonna add. By the way, this is 12 gauge. That's so cool. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. Oh, about nice. 12 gauge. Nice. Nice. Perfect. So we, nice. we can just do this right here. So just to give myself some working room. That's a sign of really bad Kate. <laughs> <laughs> good tools. Really weak. Ian and Gabby finished wiring the motor directly to the power using the ends of a 12 gauge outdoor extension cord. They took a lot of time to ensure the connections were secure and heat shrinked. We never could have gotten this all done without their help from start to finish. Thank you so much, Ian and Gabby. Refrain from touching, touching it with it. our fingers. I don't know if that's very sensitive or not. Cut it the other way next time because they got uh, the handle. Oh, you got the handle. Oh, wow. Really oh, yes, okay. Join us next week to see if we overcome our fears and several mishaps to actually fill a dive tank.